How's it going? This is Amy. Welcome back. Um, so today, it's March now. It's March... Uh, I forgot what day it is. It's March the 4th. It's Monday. I'm making this video. Um, so today's video, I'm going to do my February book hauls that I've acquired uh, through February. And so just a little bit of idea. This this uh, last uh, book haul, I, um, I think I got the most books I've got on a book haul so far. Um, there was 20 books, I believe. So most of them came from Goodwill, which I normally... Oh, there goes a cat running through the yard. Okay. <laughs> Kitty cat. Um, where was I? I get distracted very easily. Um, yes. So most of them I got, I bought at Goodwill. And I have a couple other, couple, two others. One I got at Sam's Club. And one I got off eBay. So, let's show you the book. Um, the books here. Let's turn it around here. Here we go. That is the haul that I got. All these books. Um, yeah. So, that's quite a little stack. I still have to do a book unhaul. Um, yeah, we'll be doing that. Hopefully, I can do a one book unhaul this month um i'm hoping because I, I do really need to get clear some books off my shelf and i'll probably be donating those to goodwill um since i've probably got most of those i don't know if i what i'm i don't know what i'm unhauling right now i have a stack it's stacked in a corner and i have to go through them again to make sure because i know there's some i've changed my mind on that i might keep so yeah so let's get to the books i uh i got and we'll start with you be quiet Minnie uh, um these two books I got uh this I got off of eBay it's Lonesome Dove by Larry McMurtry um I've never read it obviously and I watched the miniseries when it came out back in the back in the 80s I can't remember what year but there was a miniseries Excuse Minnie Sue. She says something on TV. I have to turn the TV off. Pause. Okay, we've settled Minnie Sue down. Hopefully. No guarantees. She barks at everything on the TV. And we have inside cats. And so sometimes she feels like barking at them. Anyway. Lonesome Dove. This I think I got... I want to say it was under... Well, it was under $10, definitely. But I think I got it for like five or six dollar free shipping normally a lot of the books I get off of eBay I get the free shipping usually they come with free shipping so um pretty sure that one I know that one did but I can't remember the price but anyway yeah the mini series was out in the 80s Lonesome Dove and um I really liked it I remember when it was advertising to come coming on I was so excited for it. I mean it's back when we had a VCR and we taped off the cassettes I was I taped the I taped the mini series and actually I think it started it came out it was on my birthday in February when it started so that was fun it's just a little uh, something dear to my heart um, but I also have this book Lonesome Dove is for a reading thon that I'm gonna do in December and we'll talk more about that later in the year I don't want to get too I don't want to talk about it too early. I mean, we got we got a whole year to go, and I don't want to rush the year by. It's already going by too fast. But yeah, so that one, oops, that one I have for, it's part of a readathon I'm doing in December. So that's the reason I got that one. Um, and then the next one I got at Sam's Club. I paid, and price is right on there. I paid $7.98. It's a Stephen King and Peter Straub. It's the Talisman. And it says it's the 40th anniversary edition. So I've never read this. And I read a little blurb on the back. It's an actual fa a fantasy. Um, and it's quite a chunky book. It's a fantasy book. Uh, by Stephen and Peter. Um, I think I heard about it. But I've never thought about reading it or anything. Until I seen this book at um, Sam's. It was, like I said, it was under 8 bucks. So I thought, oh, that'll add to my Stephen King collection I have. 
and let's see here. We'll do little stacks at a time. And so the rest of the books, like I said, I got at Goodwill. So I finally got a copy of The Hobbit. Um, this, everybody probably knows The Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit. Um, I've never read any of them. But the Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, the first one in, this, in the trilogy, that book also is part of my readathon in December. And like I said, we'll discuss that more when we get closer to December. But there's there's 12 books I'm collecting to read in December. And I'll just leave you with that little tidbit. And then this next one, I this is Alice Allison Brennan. Um, I already have one of her books. I haven't read it yet. But this one looked interesting. Um, it's called Shattered. It's about a, uh, I think it's a kidnapped boy some boys that get kidnapped and this is a um I can't remember if she's a I need my glasses because I can't I can't see anything she is so it's working with a reporter Maxine Revere and a I believe it's a cop FBI agent Lucy Kincaid so those two work together to find out the truth about these kidnapped boys um over a span of 20 years uh, so that seemed really interesting. Like I said, I have one, uh, hers already. I haven't read, I think it's seven girls missing. What's it called? Time out. Yeah. Seven girls gone. That's the other one I have. And this one I did get at Sam's club. It was six seventy eight too, but that was last year. But, um, so anyway, so I have those Put right there. And the next one I got at Goodwill is uh, Ruth Ware. I have several Ruth, Ruth Ware books. That's hard to say um, so far. And I haven't read any of them yet, but I found another one. It's The Death of Mrs. West, Mrs. Westway. West, Westaway. Um, so I'm just collecting some Ruth Wares and going to see which ones I like or not. I have, I have In the Dark, Dark Wood, The Woman in Cabin 10, and one by one. So those, all of those other books I have of hers. And then I add, I have this one now. And this back. We have, let's get through this. Making decisions on the, on the spot. Um, so this one is Tess Gertson. Gert? Gerritsen. Sorry, I think I pronounced that wrong. Garrett. Garrettson. You you decide how you want to pronounce it. It's a Shape of the Night. Um, it's a standalone. It's not part of the Rizzoli and Isles series that I I started collecting from hers. It's a different one. So um, means that I like the Rizzoli and Isles series. I thought I'd give that one a shot. And I found a Lisa Jackson, the girl who survived. Um, looks like somebody got this at Sam's Club too, but I got it at Goodwill. Um, and this one, she survived. She survived. The girl who survived. So it's a thriller mystery, um, one. All of these are, well, there's a couple of classic, classic literature. Um, I guess The Hobbit would, I would include The Hobbit in classic literature. Um, and I have two others, but the rest are mostly like mystery, thriller, suspense, except for the Larry McMurtry it was a like Western. But anyway, and this one I found Karen Slaughter, Pieces of Her. Um, and so I'm currently on the second Will Trent series uh, with Karen Slaughter, Fractured is the second one in the Will Trent. I'm currently reading that one. So at some point, I'm going to get to the more of the Karen Slaughter because I, re I do really like the Will Trent series. And then this one is Stacy Willingham, A Flicker in the Dark. This is part of my March TBR. Um, that's really cool. It's like a little woodsy, creepy woodsy feel <laughs> on the cover. And that's those. Okay. Now, we have, we're getting to the bigger stack. 
Okay, so this is one of the, I say classic literature, which I don't think anybody would argue with me. Maybe, there might be, I'm sure there is. Um, this is the, um, the Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. It's the second one in the trilogy by J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, yeah, this is in good shape. This is a good book. I wanted my other one, The Lord of the Rings, The, the Fellowship of the Rings. I wanted it like this one, but when I ordered it, the when I ordered that one off of eBay, the picture they had for that book was not the actual cover, book cover that I got. So I might end up finding one like the first woman like this in this series to get and exchange that one out. But anyway, it is what it is. And then this one is Jacqueline Winspear, An Incomplete Revenge. This is a series, a mate, um, a series, the character is Maisie Dobbs. I started reading this, oof, probably not this particular book, but the series, uh, it's a while back. Um, I'm going to say mid, I want to say 2010, something like that. I came across it and I really liked the series. It's, um, so the first one, their first one is just called Maisie Dobbs. This is the fourth, fifth, I think this is the fifth one. I think this is the fifth one. I can't, I can't be sure. Um, but it's in the era of, um, I think it starts, it's either pre-World War One or after World War One. It's in that era. It's in the 1930s. Um, and then it, and then the series just evolves through the years after that. Um, this particular one, it's, um, why did I say World War One didn't happen in the 1930s? It was pre that 1930s is pre World War Two. Um, the first World War is the 1914 um, to 1918. Um, so I think it picks up after that because this I believe this series is like the early 30s, maybe late 20s after World War One, I, I believe. So and it's in between um, um, before we get into uh, World War Two. So this one picks up in 1931, it looks like. Um, and she's an investigator, like a PI, a female private investigator. Um, she's She is, starts that up. Um, and anyway, yeah, it's just... Uh, it's just a cute, kind of kind of a cozy, but kind of a... It is a mystery. She has different... You know, it, a lot of things revolve around her experiences and the people... From World War One, and then moving in, you know, the after effects of that. So, it's a good, it's a good little series. I really like it. I don't know how many's out in the series right now. I'm really behind because I've read the first. I believe I read the first four in this book series, uh, and I don't know. And I thought I read some more after that, but I don't know. But there's probably. at least 15 maybe 16 I don't know anyway um so I found that one and then the next one is Louise Penny How the Light Gets In this is also a series of the Inspector Gamash Gamesh um it's a Canadian um Chief Inspector Armand Gamash series um and this one I think it goes back to so I've only read the first one so far sorry and um I really liked it, so I started getting started getting the others in the series when I can, and I found a couple of hardbacks at um, was in another book haul I had at Goodwill, but I really like the paperbacks. They're just very floppy, easy to hold. It's comfortable. I like it. Um, but anyway, this one is the gosh, which number is this? I think it's down on the list. So I've read the first one. I have the second one. I haven't read that one yet. I think I this might be the I think I have the fourth one. I don't have the third one. So yeah, I have this. I don't have the third one. And uh, so this is down. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the ninth book in this series. 
and I've read the first one. And like I said, I have the second one to read. So hopefully that I'll read that second one soon. And then this little dandy, I've been, I debated on getting it because I thought, well, I know I'm not going to get to it soon, but I do want it on my shelf because I do at some point in my life want to read this. It might take six months or a whole year. I don't know. It's quite the chunky book. It is a literary classic. And I figured when I found this at Goodwill that it was probably somebody who was taking an English class that had to read it. And as soon as they got done with their class, they dumped it off at Goodwill and they didn't want it anymore. Because I know the chunky classics, they can be quite, uh, quite the task to take on. But this is War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. And when I say it's a chunky book, if you've never heard of it, it is a chunky book. It is chunks galore. And the page count is, I'm gonna say, oh yeah, um, 1,386 pages. And it's about, if you don't know, it's um, basically in the a Russian um, novel. It, it says, once called the greatest novel ever written, War and Peace is at once an epic of the Nap Napoleonic Wars, a philosophical study and a celebration of the Rus Russian spirit. Tolstoy's genius is seen clearly in the multitude of characters in this massive chronicle, all of them fully realized and equally memorable. Out of this complex narrative emerges a profound examination of the individual's place in the his historical process, one that makes it clear why Thomas Mann praised Tolstoy for his Homeric powers and placed War and Peace in the same category as the Iliad. So, it's a big one. It's basically, I think it was... Don't quote me on it. When it was, say, the Russian Revolution around in there... Um, that part, uh, I can't remember exactly, but I, I know I've, I've heard about it for forever. But yeah, that's a chunky one. I might do, probably not this year, maybe next year. I, I know there's a thing going around on, um, and it's a pretty cover, on um, YouTube right now with the BookTubers uh, marches, March of the Mammoths, which is mammoth, like, large books, chunky books like that. And so maybe next year in March, I will try some chunky book series. Because, I, I mean, I have this one, but I have some others. I have, I also have Anna Karenina and, you know, some other chunky ones I have, I know are um, The Thorn Birds, Roots is a large book. Uh, I have, I thought I had, I don't know if I have it. I say Gone with the Wind is a chunky book, but I don't know if I have that one. But anyway, I have some, I have some big ones. Um, so maybe next year we'll get to the chunky. Um, and I also, I haven't um, bought, but I am going to get at some point The Count of Monte Cristo. I really want that one. I'm, yeah, so I'm really wanting to read that one. Um, I'm not sure when I've been looking, I found this one at Goodwill, so maybe I'll find that one or I'll get it off of eBay. But anyway, um, let's continue on with the last little stack we have. Well, it's not a little stack. Like I said, I got 20 books in this. Well, I went to, um, I got several different hauls over the, over February. So this is a collection of all the hauls I got. I think I went about three. I think I got three or four different hauls. So, and so this next book is, I don't know what happened. Something fell. Um, I, this one is Anne Cleves, The Crow Trap. It's currently, I have this on audio on my Libby app. And then I found this, this one is the first in the series of the Vera Stanhope mystery series. It's a British, um, well, it's a British TV show, but it's a British, uh, writer. And, um, I really enjoyed the TV show. So I was super excited when I found this one. This is the first one in the series that I've been wanting to get. But bef 
before I got this, I had I download I downloaded the the audio on my Libby app I, um, of this book. So I have the audio and the book. Um, I've started to read it, but I kind of put a hold, hold, hold off on it a little bit. I'm trying to get through a couple of other books I have um, to get through for. One is a February one. I still didn't finish, but anyway. And so I found actually found three Anne Cleves books at Goodwill this time. And so the other one is also in the Vera Stanhope series. This is a little wrinkled cover, but that's okay. It's called The Darkest Evening. So there's that one. And um, they're all in pretty good shape as far as the pages. This is a little wrinkled, has a little rip. That's okay. I can I can tape it. Tape works. <laughs> um, there's that one. And then I found, I guess, <laughs> okay, so this next book that I was getting ready to talk about, I had to reshoot the little, this little video part, sorry. Uh, I deleted that one. My camera was messing up on my phone. So anyway, the next one was going to be The Long Call. It's a new, um, it's a new character from Anne Cleves, uh, a detective, Matthew Venn. So this is also, it's also in, um, it's in North Devon setting. And this detective goes home to his estranged father's funeral. And then at that time, he, um, he gets a call that there was a body on a beach nearby. So he has to go to work solving the, how this guy, he was, has a big old tattoo of an albatross on his neck and he was stabbed to death. So it calls him back to his hometown and, um, you know, as his, his new life and his old life are colliding together. But, uh, this looks interesting. So there's that, that one. So we'll go back to continue on the video, how I originally had it. It's got this sticker. I don't know if you can see it. It says Band-Aid Books. Book Band-Aid. I don't understand. Uh, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> but, uh, okay. So then we got those. And then we have the rest of them are one, two, three, four hardbacks. I got it. So this one is Night Swim by Megan Golden. And um, this is also on my December... Uh, readathon list. I was super excited that I found this. I would have never thought I would have found this at Goodwill because this was just a random, um, I, w I was looking for a certain thing for December and I had decided on this one and I was going to get it off Amazon, I thought, and then I came across it at Goodwill. So this is basically about a, um, I think it's a podcaster, po true crime podcast. Um, and then she's investigating, um, I guess a new season of Rachel's. I guess there's a book before this, it seems, because it says the new season of Rachel's podcast has, her brought, has brought her to a small town being torn apart by a devastating um, assault trial. And so I don't know if it's just in this, that it's saying new season of her podcast or if there's actually a previous book. I'll have to look that up and Google it. I don't know. And then I found another one in my um, James Patterson series, uh, The 17th Suspect. It's number 17 in the um, Women's Murder Club, uh, first edition hardback. Those are the ones I, this says Barnes & Noble, exclusive edition, but it did say first edition in here. Those are the ones I, cl I collect for James Patterson is the hardbacks. So I was super excited for that one. And also, I have another John Gresham because I've been behind on my John Gresham reading but getting the books and this is rooster bar um so yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go over what this is about it's just a john gresham book if you know you know usually law school law student um law school law students they're going to um i don't know something's gonna happen and then the next one is also John Gresham, The Boys from Biloxi. Yeah, this is a pretty cover. I really like this cover. This is really nice. The blues and the pinks, like the sunset. And um, 
if you know John Gresham, I, he's from Mississippi. And um, so a lot of his, um, well, it should say, it usually says. So a lot of his is uh, around, it's a, written in, in the South, like the setting is the South. So I'm pretty sure he was from Mississippi. I'll have to look it up. But anyway, I, I always, always, always have enjoyed John Gresham books. So hopefully that'll be, you know, good. But that is the um, book haul for my February book hauls. Like I said, there was like three or four, three, there's about three times I went to Goodwill. And then I got some, like I said, a book from Sam's, a book from eBay. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Some of these are, well, like I said, the, there was two on my... December readathon I'm gonna do and then the rest um, was there two yeah two and then the rest will read when we get to it I'm excited about all those I'm always excited about the book I mean aren't you always excited about your book calls of course you are because you bought the book you're excited to read it so that's where we're at and uh, yeah I just wanted to show you what I got in um, February and uh, let me know if you got any book hauls that you're excited about that you got in February. You can leave a comment. You can like. You can whatever you want. You want to subscribe? Go for it. Um, but we'll be coming back here with some more. I'm hoping to do a video like maybe on, I'm not sure I haven't decided, like a update on my reading, where I'm at with my, my reading um, for the month or just in general let you know how it's going um cause a lot of times i just show you the books i'm reading and then if i finish them i give the review at the you know for the end of the month or for the beginning of the next month um but i thought maybe it would be fun to do a little update on where i'm at with my my reading if i'm liking it hating it what's going on in the book but uh yeah so that's it for today um thanks for coming by and i hope you have a good uh day rest of your week Whatever you want, grab a cup of coffee, tea, milk, hot cocoa, um, and have a good one. Thanks. Mm -hmm.